Stallion eSearch presents The Making of a Sire Goldheart Eagle V On the last episode of The Making of the Sire, Goldheart Eagle V, the well-bred son of one famous eagle, was in the finals of the Grade 1 Rainbow Derby, fighting valiantly down the stretch with Grade 1 Riadosa Derby winner Hot Simpting and Sir's final try fighting to the wire. I was really confident in this horse. He's real professional and going in the gates, he goes in the gates and this horse is just perfectly just parked. And then like a horse slips and they back us out. Unfortunately, it happened, so we had to back him out. He didn't break as good as I thought he was when we first loaded. And I mean, he's in the race the whole way. I'm heads up with, with the four and another horse on the outside. I think it was a hot stemping. And we're just head and head and head and I'm riding him and I, I whipped him left-handed and, and, and and then I went back right-handed on him and of course would reach down and try to find another gear and he would, you know, every time I asked him for a run, he would just try. And then he'd, he'd try to look for a little bit of more every time he'd get more aggressive. And then we crossed the wire and I was like, man, I won the race. I'm pretty sure I won the race. Rolling on the extreme outside, but it's Goldheart, Eagle V, and Hot Sempting with Sir's final try. Heart pounding, pulsating stretch run, and it's Goldheart, Eagle V, to win the Rainbow Derby. So I come back, and it was a photo finish, man, and he, run, he runs third, and it's like friggin' close. Well, it showed that he could compete with the best in the world. He showed us what we hoped that we saw at Remington when we worked him. We thought he was, you know, something special at that point. But, you know, in this game, you know, they have to go out and prove themselves. And he stepped up and showed that he could run with the best three-year-olds in the country. And so it gave us some confidence going into the All-American. The horse came out of the Rainbow Derby Finals in great shape and we just decided not to change anything. We wanted to keep to the same program that we had been going with. We wanted to keep the horse fresh and happy and he came back and ate all of his grain the night after he ran. He rested. He, you know, he kind of forgot about what he had done, you know, the day before and he just, you know, he, he's a good stall horse, a good barn horse. You'd never know he was a stud horse. But he trained phenomenal up until the All-American point. He just, you know, we, like I say, we stayed with the same. We didn't really make any changes with him. We just wanted to stay kind of doing the same protocol that we'd done up until the rainbow. They're all set. They're off. That's double from Dashford Glitter. And as they move out of the gate, it is Aviator with a short lead. Goldheart Eagle V charges up the inside. From the outside now, here comes Dynasty with aggressive driver and a political papa. But it's all Goldheart Eagle V clear by three lengths. Goldheart Eagle V leaves no question. Without a doubt, his strongest effort in his career up to that point in the Grade 1 All-American Derby Trial. And after showing all the early promise to owner Sammy Valeriano and trainer Monty Rosa, Goldheart Eagle V was finally in the racing headlines as he stopped the clock at an eyebrow-raising time of 21.108 seconds for the 440-yard trial. With that time, he qualified as the fastest qualifier going into the $1 million Grade 1 All-American Derby. When he left the gate, you know, and got part way down the track. I mean, I was just in disbelief, to be honest. I, <laughs> I was excited and thrilled and shocked. And I mean, he just, he really put on a show. And, um, you know, when he crossed the finish line, I mean, I kept my eye on him the whole way around until James pulled him up and, and watched him came back. And, you know, when they flashed the time up there on the board, I just, I, um, I just, I can't explain the emotion. I mean, I was so proud of the, you know, what he'd done. And because it was something, like I said, from Remington's first work, we thought he was that special. And uh, and there he proved it to the, the entire world in as big a race as there is for three-year-olds in the country. Yeah, so after the big race they run in the final of the Rainbow, going to the All-American, you know, after we found out that the horse pulled up really good and, um, you know, with zero issues, you know, horse was sound, everything like that. I was like, man, this this horse can win the All-American Derby for sure. 
Well, he's, he's standing in the gates, he's just standing perfect. I mean, like a wooden Indian just facing down the track. Like, it's nobody's business. You know, Cannon could have gone off and he wouldn't have moved a muscle. He was just focused, he was looking for the other end. I mean, he just left it like a rocket. And I let him drag me away from there, I threw my cross and I just kept his attention a little bit and run a really big race. And uh, fortunately, it was really fast. And when I came back, I was like, okay, that might be a safe time, so. You always dream of running in the big races. You always dream of the All-American Fraternity, the All-American Derby, the, you know, those, you know, that's just, if you're gonna train horses, that's where you wanna be. And, um, you know, as we were getting closer and closer, thinking that, wow, a guy from Shoshone, Idaho, um, can actually be here at the All-American Derby and have the fastest qualifier was just real surreal. It just was just a, a true blessing from God. The field was set. The day before Labor Day historically gives the largest stage for a three-year-old racing quota horse to perform on in the All-American Derby. It's where the best contests the best. In this year's edition, Goldheart Eagle V would face several of this year's top three-year-old performers in the field. As Grade 1 Rainbow Derby winner Sir's final try made the field as the fourth fastest qualifier, as well as Riadosa Derby winning Hot Simpting making the field as the second fastest qualifier. All-American Derby coverage on StallionEsearch.com is brought to you by Up Here on the Mountain for the All-American Derby Preview. On this episode, we're looking at the fastest qualifier going into the Derby, Goldheart Eagle V, out of the barn of Monte Rosa. You know, the horse has just progressively gotten better. He, um, all year long, he's he's trained really well, but he's pretty inexperienced, hasn't had a lot of outs, and um, each race he's just gotten better and better and uh, ran a great trial race, came out of the trial race really strong. Um, he's doing a lot lot better than what he was in the, in the, in the finals of the Rainbow Derby, and um, he's doing good. The horse is confident. He stood very well in the gates the other morning that we stood in. Um, galloped really good and uh, seems to be all business. He's a stud horse um, and he doesn't show any signs of him being a stud. He's, he's real professional. They take him out. James tells me, you know what? He is doing awesome. I said, well, good. Thank the good Lord. We got to thank the good Lord because without him, you ain't nobody. So then, you know, we just wait for the day. Earlier in the day, the combination of owner Sammy Valeriano, trainer Monty Arosa, and jockey James Flores rose to the occasion with the Corona Cartel gelding named Dexter, who is co-owned with Valeriano with Dunn Ranch in the All-American Gold Cup. The team would be hoping to repeat the success of winning a grade one event in the Gold Cup in the very next race in the All-American Derby. set for the All-American Derby. They're off. Great start for Inaugurator. Sir's final try and just smoke and hot. Now here's Goldheart, Eagle V down the center, hot tempting. KJ Mucho Macho Man on the outside. It's Goldheart, Eagle V with the lead to just smoke and hot. And Inaugurator, Goldheart, Eagle V, hot tempting a late surge. It's a lion hearted Goldheart. Eagle V to win the All-American Derby. All the perseverance and patience shown to this cold has paid off as Goldheart Eagle V romps home to a decisive victory in the grandest of all quarter horse racing derbies, the All-American Derby, solidifying himself after this rousing performance as one for the ages and also catapulting himself as the top stud prospect in the country to be sought after by many of the big name breeding farms in the game.